Hello and welcome to our Global Strategy Outlook. As the second half of 2021 begins, we are seeing solid recoveries across the developed economies, powered by vaccinations and substantial monetary and fiscal support. The momentum is strongest in the US, where the Biden administration is making historic investments in America's economic and social infrastructure. Financed by higher taxes, these investments promise a fiscal revolution. As the US recovers, there are concerns about inflation, because prices rising too fast would interfere with economic growth. But let's be clear, a long-term shift to higher inflation is unlikely in our view, for three reasons. First, prices are normalizing after a historic decline. Second, inflation spikes are limited to industries that closed or suffered shortages during the pandemic. And finally, employment is still far from its pre-COVID levels. So the Federal Reserve wants the job market to fully recover before acting to stop the economy from overheating. That's why we expect the Federal Reserve to start tapering asset purchases early next year and first raise interest rates by mid-2023. The next in line in the recovery is the European Union. Economic reopenings and vaccinations promise strong growth in the coming months. The EU's next-gen fund is securing the recovery while the European Central Bank remains supportive. In China, monetary and fiscal policies have normalized, so while the economy will continue to expand in the months ahead, the past peak pace and the rate of growth seen earlier in the recovery likely won't be repeated. Finally, emerging markets' recovery will continue to lag as long as they have less access to vaccines, and the longer it takes to vaccinate the world, the bigger the chances of new vaccine-resistant variants. So the biggest risk to the global recovery remains the pandemic and obviously any premature end to policy support. But for now, the recovery continues to progress in line with our expectations. So how are we investing clients' portfolios? Well, let's hear from Stefan. The strong rebound and growth dynamics that Sami just described should continue translating into support for market momentum in the months ahead. We continue to reflect the economic recovery in our clients' portfolios by favoring risk assets over interest rate sensitive assets. Our main asset class preference remains equities, particularly in the cyclical and value segments, and we have recently added global value stocks to our position in small capitalization and pan-European equities. We don't think the Fed's guidance on post-pandemic tapering signals an end to the equity market rally. The first interest rate hikes are two years away. In fixed income, we have reduced portfolio's duration to shield our clients' bond holdings from temporary surges in yields. And we continue to focus on carry strategies to generate returns. In currencies, the renminbi remains our highest conviction. But we are also looking for attractive euro-dollar entry points. Finally, we see growth potential in alternative asset classes notably real estate and infrastructure, as governments start rolling out their massive commitments to new, sustainable investments. Over the next three months, markets will stay focused on the interaction between recovery and pandemic, inflation and policy support. And these interplays will inevitably generate more volatility ahead. To shield their portfolios, investors may also consider using put spread options on equity indices. We also think that investors need to watch geopolitical dynamics. With the US engaging with the world again, we see trade tension easing with the EU, a renewed nuclear deal with Iran shaping up, an effort to start a new dialogue with Russia. This said, the US strategic competition with China is very much alive, and it will continue to impact the world over the next decade. Finally, the pandemic has highlighted the stakes for climate change. We see tremendous potential in the transition to a net zero economy. Our teams are working hard to understand those issues and help our clients seize these lifetime investment opportunities. Thank you very much for watching.